All right. So we started playing with this the other day. Um, I finished mine sort of. I kind of messed it up. Uh, so I'm going to go get mine. I took a picture of it before class. Um, did I remember to download it? Let's see. Uh, I don't see it in my downloads. I must have forgot. All right, so I'm going to go back and get it here. There it is. So I hadn't quite gotten there. All right, so there's my picture, and I have an error in it. I accidentally miscolored when I was going along. I don't know if any of you did that. Uh, in past years, I've had to do a couple of drafts of it because I kept messing up. So this is my prime. Civ for Gary, and it is in downloads. So I'm just going to bring it in here, and hopefully yours looks similar, although you may have a different uh, color code. Um, I'm using a different whiteboard too, so I got to remember how to get an image in here. Uh, what happened? Do I click here then? Ah, there we go. Prime Civ, open. Ooh, rotated even. Darn it, I hate when that happens. Okay, so that ain't gonna work. Can I rotate you and shrink you? Yes, I can shrink. Oh, the joys of digital homeschool. I don't see a rotate button anywhere. Darn it. Okay, let's see. Sorry about that. Does that you ever happen with you with phones? You take a picture, you think it's the right orientation, all of a sudden you open on the computer and it is not. All the time. <laughs> yeah, not a pain. All right, so I have a program here. I'm just going to open it in. And yes, I'd like you to rotate it for me. Thank you. And then let's shrink it. 3,000 pixels is a lot. I think 900 should be sufficient. And then save it or export it. Good enough. Okay. Uh, Gary, I'm sorry. I have to sneak away for 10 minutes. I have a staff meeting, but I'll be right back. That's okay. all right. Yeah, okay, I am thank you. recording this for you. Perfect. Thank you. All right, I'm going to try to put this in here again, and hopefully it's the right direction. Ah, there we go. Okay. And I have an error here. So when I was counting along for my sevens, I miswrote one of them. For some reason, I thought uh, seven times eight was 54, but I know it's 56. So I'm gonna try to touch this up with a white pencil. That shouldn't be there. Uh, that kind of looks crappy, but oh well. I don't think the eraser will work on the image, will it? No. Eraser only works on pen. So that's white out there. Anybody use white out anymore? I haven't used it in years. Okay, so that's my error whited out. So that one was in the, in the wrong spot. So I went through here in the red diagonals from bottom to top, uh, lower left to upper right, those are my twos. And I have my key down here below. So my twos are the red slash, the green slash going from the upper left to lower right, the yellow going horizontal, the orange going vertical, uh, my two, three, fives, and sevens in order. Uh, if I didn't miss any, everything remaining should be prime. So uh, 19 didn't get colored, it should be prime. 23 didn't get colored, it should be prime. 29 should be prime. 31 hiding over here should be prime. 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73. So it's kind of a fun way to do it. Now, if, if you're not sure why I called it a sieve, uh, I'll explain. Ooh, I didn't mean to write on the page. A sieve is something that sifts things out, like a colander for pasta, right? You throw the hot water and pasta in there, the water comes out, the pasta stays in. And that's what this is right here. We, uh, we found a way to filter out multiples of two, three, five, and seven, 
and uh, the next prime is 11. 11 squared is 121. So 11 only needs to kick in after 121. From one, actually, I should say 121 and beyond, because uh, we noticed that the other day. The first number that two got to kick out was the four. So let's highlight that. Let's see, two is in red. So I'm just gonna put an extra circle there. That was the first number two got to knock out. Three, let's see, my threes are green. And the first number the three got to knock out was really the nine because six was already gone, two kicked it out. I just put the mark there anyway, because six happens to be a multiple of three. And then five, fives are yellow, it looks like. So the first number five truly got to kick out was 25. Other multiples of five, like 20, were already kicked out by other numbers, like uh, two or 15 got kicked out by three, 10 got kicked out by two already. So the first number five got to kick out on its own was 25. And then seven, what was the first number it got to kick out? Forty-nine. Forty-nine, correct. So I think my sevens were orange. So I'm just gonna circle 49. So 49 was the first number seven got to act on on its own. So the first number 11 would get to act on on its own is 121. Every number under 121, we've already taken care of as being prime or not, which is kind of cool. So this is just an excellent strategy that was discovered many, 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 many years ago, a couple thousand, I think, uh, for, for identifying prime numbers. So let's continue here. I was circling primes, numbers that weren't colored. So hopefully you have something that looks like that to turn in. Um, for fun, I tried doing it on a computer. That was a little bit harder, um, although I'm doing it on a computer there. I tried to make a spreadsheet do it for me. Let's see if I can find that spreadsheet here. Um, search for prime. This prime spreadsheet should be in here. So what I, what I tried to tell the spreadsheet to do is every time you see a number in the spreadsheet that two goes into, color it red. If you see a number that three goes into, color it blue. If you see a number five goes into, color it green. And if you see a number seven goes into, color it uh, yellow. And notice that some multiples of seven are, are missing because the, the other colors overlap them for some reason. I couldn't get uh, the seven to show up on top, the color to show up on top. Um, so it's, it's, it's a slightly different version of the picture. And the cool thing was all I had to do was make those four statements. Multiples of two are shaded red, multiples of three are shaded blue, multiples of five are shaded green, multiples of seven are shaded yellow. And then the computer just every time it saw a number I typed in, it said, oh, let's color it that color. Like over here, if I take 37 and I call it 36 instead, the computer should say, oh, you should be red. Um, and that's a, a thing in a spreadsheet called conditional formatting, which is kind of a cute thing. Uh, and so the white numbers should be the prime numbers that are left over. Um, but this doesn't have all the detail that my other one has where you can see all the colors together. Um, so this is one attempt I made trying to do it on a spreadsheet. Um, so if you're curious about how I did that, if you like spreadsheets, I can record a video about it later. Just put a message in the chat and let me know. All right, back to the notes over here. Um, and then based on this, you know, there were a few questions to answer and we already answered some of them. Like what's the first number two got to kick out? What's the first number three got to kick out? What's the first number five got to kick out? And then what's the first number seven got to kick out? Uh, and then there were a few more questions that need to be addressed. One of which is, do you see any interesting patterns in your results here? Um, and, and I see a, a tons of different patterns and all I needed you to do was to pick three. Like for example, every other column is, has the red coloring for two, right? The column that starts with two, the column that starts with four and so on. Uh, let's see, the, the sevens, and so for me, let's see, my sevens were a vertical orange slash. Um, there's an interesting pattern there, and let's see if I can point it out. 
spot. Um, where's the hand do? Can you see that hand floating around the screen? Hopefully, for like 35, for example, if I go down two and write one, there's another multiple of seven. Down two, write one. Down two, write one. So the sevens make this diagonal pattern through there. And if I pick any multiple of seven, like 21, there's gonna be another one that's down two, right one, down two, right one. Um, and there's a ton of other patterns hiding in here. So my hope was you would look at this and come up with three interesting patterns that you saw. So let's look at the description of this activity. So hopefully you got your colors done. You have a color key to go with it. Uh, here's just reinforcing the color key. What was your color again down here? We answered question three together just now. And then the other ones required a bit more work. You couldn't really look at the uh, table to get these other ones, I don't think. Um, you had to think about them. So we've answered question four together. Uh, and then five, six, seven haven't been answered yet. So what I'd like to do right now is to split you guys into groups and have you guys discuss your answers for five, six, and seven. And then I have a couple of follow-up questions that I didn't ask here that are related. So I'm gonna, uh, two things, I'm gonna stop my share.